All right, so our next render is going to be this one right here. Uh, so this is basically a night render, and it's going to show you how to add um, artificial light sources and how to sort of create this fog um, and this um, bloom around the around the lights. And the car is the same exact one. Obviously, you can use other cars if you want. And we're also going to be importing a building from uh, Unreal Megascans. Um, and then we're going to be creating this full floor, and it's going to be pretty easy. And I hope you will learn something new in this. All right, so what I'm going to do firstly is that I'm going to go to file and I'm going to create a new level for this one as well create a new level just press ctrl s lambo under lambo 03 I think this one yeah ss perfect uh so for this what I'm going to do is that I'm firstly going to be creating a landscape as we do all this um and I'm going to keep I'm going to be keeping this landscape for now um so what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to be firstly importing the Lamborghini so let me just go to my previous levels and just import the Lamborghini from there. Um, now, I, I am assuming that you've seen the previous videos um, and you know how to actually import this Lamborghini and everything. And you have already created those as well. So just select this, Control S and Control C, sorry. And then just bring it in. I'm just going to go to unlit mode so that I can see properly. And then just Control V. Let me reduce my camera speed. All right, and I'm going to have to bring it down. Let me turn off snapping and let's place it right there. Perfect. So uh, let me turn on snapping again. Right. So our car has been imported. Our next step is going to be um, sort of creating this light. So with this light, I basically imported this again from what do you call it? Blender kit. However, you can just go to the internet. You can search for maybe street light 3D model. And then you can just choose whichever one you want from these and you can import them inside of Unreal Engine. However, again, I'm going to be using Blender for this. So just open Blender. Um, the Blender kit add-on is pretty good. You can just find, you can find almost anything from there. And so what I did was I just searched for, I think, Streetlight. And just wait for the results to come up. All right, so apparently Blender kit server is not working at the moment and I can't really find anything. Uh, it's not really showing any results. Uh, but yeah, the one which I used was um, from Blender Kit. And so I'm just going to be importing that inside of Unreal Engine. I think I already do have it imported. It's in this light folder. Um, and it was this old style um, street lamp. <clears throat> so you can import this from uh, Blender Kit or the internet if you want. Uh, so there's that. So I'm just going to be placing it right there. I'm not going to repeat the whole importing process because I already do have it imported and you already know the whole process. So I'm assuming you can do it on your own. And let me just place it right there. And so after this, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be importing uh, those buildings from Megascans. So I'm just going to go to add, add pixel content. And then we can just simply go to this home and then 3D assets, building. And now we, you're going to see that we're going to have um, quite a lot of options right there. If you want specific collections, then you can just simply go to collections and environment. And then just simply go down to urban. And you're going to have all these collections, which are going to be specific um, modular buildings, which you can join together to create larger buildings. Uh, so that's what I'm going to be doing. And you can just choose any one of these. I think I'm going to choose this one. And so first, we're going to be downloading the ground floor kit. So just download and add that. And let me just drag these. I'm just going to select all these assets. And I'm going to drag them inside of our scene like that. So something like that should be good. And then I'm going to rotate them because my bad, because um, they are not facing the correct direction. Right now, you're going to see that all of them are merged together, which is not what you want. So I'm going to I'm going to separate them basically. Uh, so just move this one to the end. Make sure that you have snapping turned on for this because you want them to be perfectly aligned like they are right now. And let me move this one apart like that and this one actually instead I'm going to move this one apart so that's one line of um, buildings and we can also download um, the first floor first floor kit and then we can add that as well and again I'm just going to select all of them and I'm going to be placing them on top of them so let me just go close to the buildings first so that we can properly place them. I'm just going to select all of them and I'm going to be dragging them right here. 
something like that right and let me just rotate them 180 degrees and then i'm going to be placing them right here let me get rid of that asset because i don't think we need that and this one as well uh so let me just move this one right there make sure that they're aligned properly We have this one right here. I'm just gonna move this one over there and place them like that. Let me select all of them and move them a little to this side so that they're matched from the side as well. And so I'm just gonna get rid of this and I'm just gonna be duplicating this one right there like that so that it sort of covers up the whole place. And then you can continue to build up uh, further floors as well. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is that I'm, I'm gonna be duplicating this one and i'm going to be moving the same exact one up the reason why i'm doing this is because it's not going to be that visible from far away uh and also we're just going to see like this much of the second floor so it doesn't really matter that much right um so there's that and now let's move on to the next step which is going to be uh to maybe start on the start working on the lighting uh so i'm just going to go to this and you're going to see that this has a very yellowish tint to it uh, so yeah, so what I'm going to do is that firstly, I'm going to add uh, the light material to this one, uh, so th to this um, street lamp, and then we're going to be working from there. 